Okay, so far we know that this thing opens up. We know that our vertex is at 2, negative 4, and we know our axis of symmetry is x equals 2. So we found this much. Now we need to find our x and our y intercepts. Okay, well, we need to think about what do we know. I'm going to draw a little line here. What do we know about every single y intercept? Well, we know that the x value is 0, so we can use that in the equation to find the y y will equal 0 squared minus 4 times 0. So that says y is 0. This tells us that when x was 0, y must also be 0. This is our y-intercept. So I'm going to go ahead and plot that too while I have it here. 0, 0 is our y-intercept. And now let's go through and let's find the x-intercepts. So again, what do we know about every single x-intercept? Well, we know that the y value is 0, so we can use that. If the y value is 0, that means, and back in our equation up here, 0 will equal x squared minus 4x. And now we can solve this. Now since this is quadratic, we need to think of factoring. So I'm going to factor out this common x. So that will be x times x minus 4, and now we can set each factor equal to 0. So 0 will equal x, or 0 will equal x minus 4. Well, this one is done, an x value of 0. So when y was 0, x was 0, that tells us we have an x-intercept at 0, 0. Then we can finish this one. If I move my 4 over to the left-hand side, we have x equals 4. So this would be the point 4 comma 0. I'm going to go ahead and plot those. Now 0, 0 we already have. That's both an x-intercept and a y-intercept. And the other point we found was 4, 0. So here is another x-intercept. Now we know what this thing looks like because of that. So I could go ahead and draw that in now if we wanted to. Now we've done all of that without ever picking up our calculator. Okay, now let's talk about our domain. Well remember we have three different types of functions that we talk about domain. Rational, this is not rational. Radical, this is not radical and then polynomial. This is a polynomial function. Quadratics are very special kinds of polynomials. And if you'll remember from your polynomial um, domain, that is all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. Now for our range. Let's look at our function here. The range we talk about being the smallest to the largest y values. Well, our y values start right here. This is the lowest y value on the graph, and that starts at negative 4, and then the graph goes up from there. So our range looks like negative 4 to infinity. And notice that I put a bracket around the negative 4 because that is an included point. Now lastly, we have our increasing and our decreasing. Looking at this graph, can we see that it's going down until it gets to the vertex? That's a decreasing area. So over the domain, this starts decreasing at negative infinity, and it stops here at 2. So this is decreasing from negative infinity to 2. Remember, we use the x values only to do increasing and decreasing. Then, starting from an x value of 2 all the way to infinity, this graph is going to go up. So from 2 to infinity, we are increasing. And this is exactly how we graph that.